All right, welcome to day three of the SEC Media Days, which would mean it's the last day. We're getting ready to head out. Robbie and I and, and Doug Finger are going to go to Dothan, go halfway home tonight, and then come home and see our lovely families tomorrow. Looking forward to that. It's been a long week, Robbie, and uh, today was an interesting day. I thought uh, I enjoyed Nick Saban, actually, uh, to, to kick us off there. He was real good talking about how you stay on top and how you avoid you know, complacency and stuff like that. And I, I was really impressed with him and his players. They're always impressive. Yeah, they. I tell you what, they, I leave here thinking LSU is the team to beat. I'm with you on that. But, but I, I just think we're all ready, looking forward to November 3rd, I think it is, when yeah. LSU plays Alabama. Yeah, what a game that's going to be. And, you know, Alabama's got a tough game to start off the year at Michigan. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I think Saban says he likes that. It makes your team get focused in the, in the preseason and ready to go at the start of the year, which is good. Yeah, uh, of course, today we also had uh, Tennessee and Georgia. Ole Miss, I didn't pay a ton of attention to. I, uh, Hugh Freeze impressed me, Pat. He, yeah, well, he, I mean, he, he's, he's real honest about where they're at and how far they've got to come, but he loves Ole Miss. You can tell that. I think he's going to be pretty good for them eventually. Yeah, he had me kind of ready to move there yeah. uh, at one point, but uh, uh, they won't be very good this year. No, no they're question. just a total lack of talent right. there right now. Same with Kentucky. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they're probably the two worst teams in the league right now. Uh, Tennessee, though, the, the, the thing that I walk away from here with the feeling about Tennessee is watch out for Tennessee. They've got good talent. Uh, they've got great receivers quarterback who's uh, big time and, and has actually filled out a little bit since the last time we saw him. Their defense should be better. Their offensive line should be better. And it's just like he said, 32 true freshmen played the last two years. Well, those guys now have had some experience. Yeah, they're going to be better, Pat. And, you know, you talk to people around the league, and they're going to have the second best offense maybe in the league. If they get a running game to go with Braves passing, they're going to be hard to stop. And they didn't run the ball at all. I think they're 107th no, in the when league. When you yeah. become one-dimensional in this league, you're done. Absolutely. But, uh, I mean, that, that again, Again, as, as we leave here today, I'm thinking, man, Florida, those, that first month is going to be brutal for them. The first two games, Pat, the SEC games is going to you know, tell us where they're going to go this year. And, I mean, if they lose both of them, it's going to be a, a tough go. You know, by the time we got to Georgia, the 14th team to come in here, it was almost like, just hurry up and finish. I mean, Rick could sense there was no energy <laughs> left in the room. And, I mean, Dickey, we only had him for 14 minutes. People were tired of asking questions, I think, and Rick could feel the lack of energy on the part of the hacks. Yeah, I think a little bit of what Dickey was, or with Dooley was um, kind of like, Eh, we'll t we'll get back to you later. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like there wasn't a compelling thing there. But with Rick, yeah, I think everybody was worn out. But you know, look, they were picked to win the East. I asked Mark Rick in the in the in the um, media room there, uh, how do you feel about it? And do you is it worry you that we're always wrong? Yeah, he says hopefully you're wrong this time or right this time. Yeah. <laughs> well, wrong. I would have. You know, they're the clear favorite now. When you look at the balloting here, well, I mean, South Carolina's going to be good, but I think most people think light schedule, good quarterback, Georgia's the team to beat. If I'm voting the best team in the East, I'm voting South Carolina. Yeah. But when I vote who I think will win it, I'm voting Georgia because they're, they're, they're I mean, they're very close in talent and very close in coaching, but their schedule is just so much easier. Yeah, and Georgia, I think, has the better quarterback of the two. Yeah, no question about that. So, it'll, Southern, South Carolina has a better running back by far. So. Of course, LSU and Georgia picked to have a rematch in Atlanta, and again, we never get it right, so that probably won't be it. But uh, be Alabama, Florida, you never know. But yeah, uh, but uh, on the All SEC team, the media, much like the coaches, not a lot of love for the Gators. No, um, nobody on the first two teams on offense. One on the second team defense, Matt Elam. But you know, and pick third, third in the league, and way behind the the first two. It's like, and it's like I always say, it doesn't really matter who's in the preseason. It matters who's in the postseason. Yeah, but once again, somebody voted Ole Miss to win the SEC. Yeah, who is this guy that does this every year? I don't know who it is. That's That wasn't as bad as the two guys in the Alabama shirt sitting in, yeah, in front of me not taking notes. But uh, that's SEC media days. It's over for another year. You know, again, I, I, I wrote about this. I find it invaluable for a lot of reasons. One is you get to talk to a lot of people uh, and kind of get a feeling for what they see in this league and what they think about. The, the, even the national scenes, guys like Brett McMurphy and um, and Dennis Dodd, and yeah. Matt Hayes, I had some great conversations with them. And you know, the other thing is you get to kind of, to me, you get to get a sense from these players really what they're thinking. Not so much, I mean, they're all going to say the right things, but you do get, you can tell whether a guy's truly confident or whistling past the graveyard. Yeah, and I mean, LSU, now that, that's confident for you right there. Absolutely. LSU, so, Alabama, that's where a lot of the confidence you'll find here. 
Well, we hope you enjoyed everything that we sent you. We sent you a ton of stuff out here from out here, uh, certainly videos, but uh, and Doug Finger's picture galleries, but also, of course, the columns, the notes, the boxes, everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We barrage you with it. College football season's here. I'm already excited about the first weekend. Yeah, kick it off. We've already gone over the TV schedule Thursday through Sunday. Thursday nice. through Monday. Yeah, Excellent. good way to start. I yeah, like it. Good way to start. So that'll be right around the corner. Of course, Florida's media day coming up as well pretty soon, so we'll, we'll be bringing you stuff from there as well. Until then, Pat Dooley, Robbie Andrew of the Gainesville Sun for Doug Finger saying so long from Hoover, Alabama.